I know that you did uh, some stuff, gosh, I feel like back in 2016 and then in 2021 with now TNA. Uh, who the hell knows what it was called at any given point. Uh, there they had like four names at one point, but uh, <laughs> you, you did have those experiences. And I know one of them was at uh, at the Skyway Studios that they did where, where they, they had done those tapings. How did those come together and in, in what's your relationship like there? So uh, the first time I did it, it was, uh, it was uh, I want to say five days before I went to Mexico for the first time. And uh, Phoenix from NXT called me on a Sunday afternoon or Saturday afternoon, whenever it was. He goes, hey, what are you doing? I was living in Sarasota at the time. He goes, can you get to the impact tapings tomorrow? We need a guy. I said, absolutely. So I drove out there and I had, uh, uh, what was his name? Pepper Parks. Um, I'm sorry, The Blade. Yeah, Braxton, from, from Bra uh, yeah, Braxton, Braxton Suter Sutter. is what he went by then he was i had his first match and i have known him for years so i went in and i had a blast it couldn't have gone better because i knew three days later i was in mexico i was looking at you know, kind of like the movie office space the less you care yeah. the more you get so you know that was a good experience my last time around um Dilo brown contacted me uh through some fs fsw in vegas you know contacts and he said hey we want to take a look at you come on in so um i agreed to it i agreed to doing uh, the final day of tapings and honestly, that weekend I did Thursday, Friday, Saturday in the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday in Los Angeles, had to get a red eye to Nashville, got, had about three hours of sleep and had to be on TV that day. So, uh, wow. that, that wasn't one of my best performances. You know, I had to wrestle, uh, I think they call it beyond the impact or beyond BTI. It was some, yeah. BTI the impact. Some, yeah. So it was supposed to be, I, I don't know if that's their consideration of a tryout or whatnot. Um, I was kind of blindsided by that. I didn't know that's exactly what, what I was being asked to do. But uh, either way, everybody was great. You know, I, I'm so I'm friends with so many of these guys just because of the years, you know, traveling together on the roads and being certain places. You know, a lot of times if you're in Italy with, you know, some five other Americans, you're kind of bonded by that experience for life. Yeah. So, you know, I've, I've always been someone to know everybody and get along with everybody quite well. Um, yeah, it, there was there really wasn't much to pursue after that. You know, I knew AAA was still my obligation. And, um, you know, like they said, a lot of people, they know where I'm at. So if they were to call me and, uh, you know, give me an opportunity, I'd be more than happy to consider it. But like I said, there's so many other, you know, very talented wrestlers banging down the door and just trying to get that opportunity. You know, I, I like to, to basically, you know, let everyone else have their fun and still I, before I start uh, cutting in line. <laughs> 